Hi everyone, it is Lori and I am going to do a new love reading for you. Let's go ahead and roll the zodiac die, see what signs you might be dealing with. Well, we did that dead drop again. Okay, Capricorn, Taurus, Pisces, Libra, there you are over there, Gemini and Aquarius. Now, those could be signs that you're about to meet your new love sign, or it could be your sign. It could be um, people influencing your love life, such as people like parents, family, friends, exes, co-workers. Don't discount anybody, okay? Their influence, everybody exists, and their influence is felt in places you would never suspect. All right, let's go ahead and see what we've got going here. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, I'm going to bring these down just a little bit, actually. Hopefully get the glare off of them. All right. We haven't had much sunshine lately, so I'm trying to get as much as I can, except I've too much glare. Okay, so why haven't you found your new love, okay? Why? What's keeping you from finding your new love? You've been holding back. You've been taking a break from love. You've been trying to forgive the past and let it go and just release, which is very good energy, very good thing to be doing, okay? Very thoughtful, very important for your own, um, for your own happiness, okay? So just releasing the past. You're in the um, absolution, forgiving the person, forgiving yourself, forgiving all situations, just letting it go, releasing it. I love that. All right. What can you do to help you move forward? Oh, you can take a leap of faith. I love this. Absolutely. Just go for it. The next person that intrigues you, inspires you, just get to know that person. That's all you're committing to is to getting to know somebody. You're not committing to marriage. You're not committing to a long-term relationship. You're taking a chance and just saying, you know, I find this person interesting. I find this person attractive. I want to learn more and go from there. Beautiful. So just you're releasing all those things that you would carry, uh, most people would carry into future relationships. So when you take the leap of faith, you're going to be so receptive to this person's energy and it's going to be beautiful. It's going to feel good. And it's funny, one of my, uh, one of the members of this community mentioned that they would really like to see the Fool card renamed the Creator card. And boy, that's how I feel about this. Like, when you start out, you are going to create whatever comes along. This is your decision. All of this is because of what you do here, okay? So everything is built upon what you're doing in this moment. So if you... Um, come into this feeling uh, that you've left everything behind, that you've left the pain and the sadness and the regrets and the grudges all in the past, you're going to create a beautiful future. Beautiful. And you don't even have to look at it as the future. Just be here in the now where you're creating exactly the environment you want to be in. That is beautiful. All right, so this is where you will meet your person. This is the three of pentacles, which is talks about places where people work with other people. I love that it's the three of pentacles and not the eight of pentacles here, um, because this is about mind, body, and soul connections. So it can be any type of environment where those three elements are really crucial. So I'm hearing like, a, oh, a church. So somebody through a church, um, somebody that you would be working with at a spa, a, a retreat, um, anything that brings the mind, body, and spirit together. So you could be talking a counseling, um, coaching type of business. 
beautiful energy here. Very soothing energy. So whatever this work is, it's meant to soothe um, the client. But it, it's funny because I'm hearing that it benefits the, uh, the person that's been hired to help the client. Okay. So that does tell me it definitely is a, a, a meeting of the minds, um, meeting of the souls, bringing the mind, body, and spirit all together. Love this. Okay, so that may be where you will meet your person. Let's see where, how, okay? So this is the Nine of Cups. The satisfaction that you feel when you meet this person is going to be just incredible. You are going to feel like a dream just came true. So you're going to be doing something that you really enjoy doing, okay? And this person that you're about to meet, this new love that's coming in for you, is actually going to see you. You're going to be in that high vibe, high vibration. And you are going to just attract that type of energy to you. And your person is going to be in your presence, here in this environment and you are just going that is how you're going to draw them in they're going to match your vibration perfectly and you are just going to draw them in and i'm seeing a diamond here okay and that's not a diamond in the rough that's a finished diamond so you are really feeling happy joyful abundant you're in the vortex, as Abraham or Esther Hicks would say, okay? You are in the vortex, and this almost looks like a little vortex here, okay? And that's what's coming off of her tail, too. <laughs> so you are in the vortex, and you're calling and putting out the same vibes of what you want to attract, and you're about to find your perfect match. You're, that is how you're going to attract them, being in that high vibration. I love this. How are you going to recognize them? Hmm. Well, they're going to come in with a beautiful, solid offer, okay? And I'm not talking about an offer of love here. I'm talking about some sort of offer that really sets the stage, is what I'm hearing, for a solid foundation to be built. Now, it's funny because from... I'm focusing on a romantic love here, and that definitely is coming through. Okay, that's definitely coming through. But I am actually hearing of a friendship. Multiple, many of you out there are going to be made, meeting a new love that may not turn out to be romantic in nature, but it is going to feel so good. It's going to be, this is all about unconditional love here. Truly finding the person who matches you on all levels when it comes to how we love, okay? And you can love somebody that you're not romantically attracted to. That's what friends are, okay? You can love a co-worker. You can love a friend. And this is, I'm really, most of you, that's what you're going to be finding, okay? And this is going to be the beginning of a brand new future, a brand new relationship that is going to last a lifetime because it is being built, first of all, on solid ground. Whatever happens between the two of you, you're taking it slow. You're getting to know each other. You really are clicking because you're on the same vibration, equal give and take. And with the aces, there's always divine protection, guidance. All right. So, the divine wants this to happen. The divine is putting this spirit, divine spirit is putting this person in your energy because you are vibrating at such a wonderful high vibration and the perfect person is right there for you. That is beautiful. Okay. So how will you recognize them? You're going to know it. You're going to know it as soon as you meet them. Okay. And you're going to feel really like up in the air, like excited but you're also going to feel very grounded like you're just going to feel like this energy transforms you the delicate with the the strength okay 
you're you're going to feel like this person is a perfect counterpart. Let's see what physical characteristics we might get from here. Definitely a um, commanding presence. They come across as somebody of few words, but when they do speak, what comes out of their mouth is very important. <clears throat> They're very gentle, even though they may be of um, a very big, like physical stature, male or female. They may be very tall, broad shouldered, um, very. Um, their stature, the way they hold themselves is not slouchy. I'm trying to come up with the right word here. <laughs> Um, it's not imposing. Some people will think it's imposing, but it's not. It's just a good, solid, they know who they are. They're not slouching. They're not wearing, um, they're wearing nice clothing. Okay. They've taken time to care about what they look like. So this person is successful because they do care about how they feel with what they wear and they do care how they portray themselves to the world. But they're not out there shouting to the world, okay? They just stand there and all eyes are on them. So those may be some. We'll get more characteristics with the other cards. All right. What should you know about this person? Either red flags or um, good thing, okay? Six of air. So if we looked at the negative part of this, we could say that they may um, have a tendency to avoid conflict. So like if, if they feel like an, um, a conversation is going to escalate into a conflict, they'll just walk away from it. They won't engage, okay? Which some people consider that to be a negative, okay? I personally don't. I think that if there's a situation and it's going to escalate into hateful words or screaming matches or anything of that nature, it is better for somebody or both parties to walk away from it until you're calm, okay? Once the emotions can be put aside, then the intelligence can come in to find a solution to whatever the problem may be. So actually, I'm, I'm going to call that a good um, thing about this person, okay? Now, I also am getting as a good thing, another good thing is that this person can avoid drama, prefers to avoid drama. So they will do whatever they have to, to have a peaceful, serene life. Okay. They can take themselves out of a chaotic situation, rise above it, let it, let it just slip off their back, roll off their back is what I'm hearing. I'm still trying to hear if there's a red flag with this person. There, oh, There's always a red flag. There's always something that we should we're not going to be aware of about somebody that may catch us off guard. Okay, that's what a red flag is. Oops, I didn't see that coming, that type of thing. Um, and I'm just not getting anything here. I'm just not feeling anything. I'm not hearing anything. This person really does prefer to live a an exotic life. Okay, they exotic? Where did that come from? For some of you, they, they're going to be exotic or they like to live an exotic life, whatever that may mean to you since you're the viewer. Um, but what I'm hearing is, is they don't want drama, okay? They're, they don't want to be the center of attention. They don't want people bothering them. They want to be happy. They want to just do their own thing, not bother anybody and not be bothered by anybody. Now, that doesn't mean they avoid people. It just means that they decide who they're going to interact with, okay? So they may seem aloof. There's another characteristic for you. They may seem cold if you don't know this person, but this person is just choosing how they are going to respond instead of being baited into situations by reacting. All right, so those are good qualities. Oh, boy. Wouldn't be a Libra reading if it didn't have a tower moment in here. And then we have the Ace of Wands and the Page of Swords. All right, so what I'm getting from this, 
it actually goes this way. There is some sort of message that comes in from the Page of Swords, okay? And I'm getting that this is a good message. This is a freeing message, something that's going to make you feel happy. An invitation, possibly. Um, yeah, strongly, an invitation, okay? And it's funny because... I kept noticing the birds here and couldn't really, you know, you're sailing above. This person sails above. But I'm seeing the, the bird wings, you know, the angel wings and the feathers. So there's an importance here about um, purity, purity, rising above, letting things go, releasing. I mean, this angel looks like they're releasing something to the heavens. Okay. Also, there's magician energy here because she's standing one foot in water and one on earth so this invitation could be the magic spark is what i'm hearing then we've got the ace of wands which is the whole wand is now on fire so the passion comes in the desire to spend more time together all right and what i'm hearing with this tower is that the walls come down this is not like um, ego. This is not ego. This is about opening up to each other, releasing and just having fun, okay? So the walls are coming down. The defenses that you may have had in place for a while are coming down. And I, I'm getting more that it's the other person um, due to the fact that Back here, you've been doing that. You've been releasing and tearing down those walls. You've been forgiving, letting go, releasing. All right. What I'd like to do next is the after tarot. So let's start right at the beginning. After you heal, what would be the next bit of information that we would like to see here? What more would you like to tell us? Okay, I do want to show that you've got the Three of Pentacles there and the Nine of Cups here, okay? So there, this is guaranteed success because this is the after tarot, and you have the Nine of Cups right here, okay? So this would be the Nine of Cups afterwards where you are not just sitting in satisfaction, you're sharing your feast, okay? You've got more than enough, and I think it's so funny because this looks like Thanksgiving. <laughs> Um, so there's gratitude, there's appreciation, okay, and then we had the three, uh, look, and now the magician is on the bottom of the deck. That is the air energy I was feeling with a page of air. So you and your person are definitely going to feel very, very connected, very magical. Um, like miracles can happen, magic can happen. You may become creators, Okay, together you may decide to create something. All right, let's go ahead and see what the uh, four of air is. Okay, so you come out of um, your deliberations, your healing process, and start celebrating life again. I love that. The fool energy. Now you're at a crossroads, but look, you've got a companion. So you're going to take a leap of faith. And they've got the world in their hands. Both of them have the world, okay? They're both looking at each other and saying, what do we want to do? The whole world is before us. Let's go check out the world, okay? The three of pentacles being clarified by this eight of cups here. Okay, so, hmm, this is again about sticky. I, I keep wanting to say, okay, with the eight of cups, it's about leaving, it's about walking away from things that do not serve you, okay? Walking away from things that are no longer satisfying. Now, one person here is walking away, but this person is staying. And this person is actually looking in this cup, trying to make a decision about what they want to do. They're not just blindly following this person, okay? They're like, I've drank from this cup and this cup. Those are spilt. I still have these cups and this one to drink from. Okay, so something here, somebody is leaving, somebody's walking away, whatever it is, but you are choosing to stay and take a chance on what is in that cup. You're willing to put the effort in to work with someone again in a partnership.
okay? Let me make sure I've got my deck facing the right way. Let's go ahead and clarify the Nine of Cups. Ooh, that came flying out. Look at this. The Wheel of Fortune. Happiness. Now you're in bliss. Okay, you're in your vortex. And this changes your de uh, destiny. Okay, this changes your whole future because you're in that high vibration and spirit is bringing your person to you. That is destined. It's fated to happen. You've earned it. You've worked for it. You've worked towards it. Especially back here, that releasing, the forgiving, not bringing the baggage into the future. No sense bringing ba the baggage. Otherwise, you're just going to keep getting the same old, same old. I love this. Okay, so you've got the Wheel of Fortune. It's turned in your favor now. All right. And what I do see here is that there is a monkey that is usually not present. Usually we have the uh, chariot, the, the sphinx, and um, whatever this represents, I forget, on the Wheel of Fortune. But we now have a monkey here. So that says that there's a mind-body-soul connection, okay? This is physical. This is... Um, this is our mind, and this is our subconscious. So working together to bring things to, again, in an environment where you're bringing mind, body, and soul together, okay? And this is the after tarot. I love this. Love it, love it, love it, love it. If this is your message, go ahead and claim it in the comments below. If this is resonating with you at all, like you understand where you might meet your person or if you've gone through this healing process here and you're ready to take that leap of faith and tell me is it a friendship or a romance that you're you feel this is for you yeah go ahead and do that and i might as well say if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and consider doing so we have an awesome community and we would love to have you join us we are growing daily and this is not really truly a, an uplifting um community here don't forget to check the description box below the video for all other information about this channel including the decks that i use this one is the good tarot and this one is the after tarot and i just stopped and you are about to put an end to a cycle okay you have and you're going to be successful whatever that cycle is that's ending it's successful but i'm hearing that you're heading into success Oh my goodness, I'm not going to continue down that. That is good. This is good. <laughs> okay, let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles here. The Ace of Earth. Oh my goodness. The Four of Wands. This is going, and this is the Four of Wands after meeting your goal. Okay, so after accomplishing something, so... Again, you're going to meet this person in a place of employment, okay, where people work to bring um, healing, bring people together, bring people wholeness. Um, this is beyond the typical Four of Wands, okay? Here's the harvest. They're harvesting at this point. They now have oxen. It started off with two people here, okay? Like a marriage celebration. Now they have family. Now they have friends. Now they have a wagon to move their harvest with and there's plenty of abundance here and look at the size of their castle this has grown so here's the solid foundation that's going to this is what you're going to achieve at the end of this whether it's romantic or just platonic the relationship is going to be very very beneficial very abundant very very good it's going to last a lifetime maybe multi-generational if it's if it is a romantic relationship, definitely multi generational. But what I'm also hearing here is like a friendship that leaves a legacy. So, like, I'm feeling like um, you may be setting up not necessarily trust funds for people, bringing mind, body, and spirit back into this, um, awarding grants donating money, being philanthropists, something that helps people, okay? I'm having a 
problem um, describing that. And I think it's because you have to decide what it is you want to do. All right. I just was looking at the Six of Swords here. Okay. Somebody's going to shine a light. Your person has already gone through a lot of shadow work. Okay. They know who they are. They know who they are. They have no doubt. They have no, no doubt. So this, this might be a warning for you. Okay. A red flag for you to watch out for that. This person is so set in their ways. They're not going to change. So if you're looking to get involved with a relationship and you expect this person to change for you, it's not happening. They know who they are. They know who they can count on. They know that they have trusty companions and they know that they can work the magic. Okay. They have their own light that they're going to follow. They're not going to follow anyone blindly. Now, I'm I'm also hearing that that's not all negative. I said that they're not going to follow anyone blindly. So that is good because you don't want somebody who just jumps on every everybody else's bandwagon. You want somebody who can stand up for themselves. Be confident. Exude this type of energy. Okay. So they have gone through their shadow work. They've already been there. They've done that. They've healed. They've come out from that. They are, they have found that they can control the snake, that they have nothing to fear anymore. Okay. And they're not walking this path alone. They have, um, they understand that they have guidance, um, guardian angels, a true connection to their intuition, their higher power. I have to say this is here and it's repeated here. In the after tarot, the seed has been, been planted. Things are starting to grow. Now the lucky, scarab, the lucky scarab is being offered up by the divine. Okay, so not only is there fortune, there's luck. There's this element of magic that happens. I had to look up more about the scarab. All right, so let's take a couple cards. See what else there is to clarify about the outcome here. Ooh, okay. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. All right, here we are. We got the Page of Swords. We've got the Page of Swords, okay? So this Page of Swords, though, has already done the research. Now this Page of Swords is calling people in, okay? Here's the call to action. Come, come together. Let's come together. Let's work together. You're going to weather any storms that come your way. See how the wind is blowing the trees, but the clouds are going to be blown away too. Okay. So things are progressing. Things are coming together. They're progressing. Then you have the moon card here. And look, your intuition is standing on the path facing you. Okay. You called to your higher, uh, your higher power. You called the spirit. And look, you're face to face with your spirit, with your intuition. You are being protected. You're divinely guided. Look, this eclipse moon is huge and it's looking down here and it's showing that there is balance. Okay. And everybody is happy. Everybody is like, she's walking on the same path that you are walking on. He or she, we don't know. But this is about um, being together, trusting your intuition and being face to face with the knowledge that you are Connected to your higher power, okay? Now, your final card here is the Two of Cups. And look at them hug. Look at them being happy together. This cat is now involved, okay? So it's not just the two of you. This can be a friendship, okay? Security, confidence, equality, healthy choices. Being able to have somebody to comfort you when you need comfort. Being there for somebody when they need comfort. True, unconditional love being felt there. Oh, I've got chills. I love it. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the star card, okay? So instead of standing, kneeling at the bank um, and trickling the magic, you're fully immersing yourself in the healing process here of creating miracles, of looking towards the future, making wishes on a bright star and knowing that this is going to happen. Look at all the things that you're growing here. Okay. A sense of freedom, joy. Okay. Being able to enjoy, oh my gosh, joy. I said joy. That's what this card is all about. Look, you have a childlike innocence, uh, an unconditional friend. 
this may be your lover, this may be a romantic, but your basics are healthy, joyous, happiness, unconditional love. You can't make this any clearer than this, okay? Whoever is coming in for you, because you've gone through this process of letting the past go, healing yourself, taking that leap of faith, Having your eyes open and being a caring person who's out there trying to bring body, mind, and soul together, okay? Or maybe you're the person that's trying to bring your own body, mind, and soul together. Make your own decisions, okay? Happiness, high vibration brings in your destiny, okay? And now you're working together. The wheel has turned and you've added somebody into your life. You have the solid foundation to start from, and look where it leads, okay? This is a beautiful message here. I, I don't know what else to say about this. This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. And I don't even know what to call this message either. Ooh. All right, let's go ahead and see what months may be of importance towards this relationship. I'm pretty sure I asked you to go ahead and uh, like and claim and subscribe, so I won't do that again. What months might be of importance in this relationship that we're seeing here? Oof. Okay, so I've got October 1st, which... Okay, so September, October. These could be, obviously birth dates for you. Your person could also be um, a Libra, Scorpio. This time for this year has already passed, okay? But this still means something. And October came out first, so I'm really getting birth dates here. Like, important dates keeps coming up is what I'm hearing. Important months to celebrate. All right, so that may mean something to you guys. Let me know, okay? Let me know. Now, oh, my cards are sticking together here. All right, I've got the cards. These are um, conflicts, issues, red flags, anything like that. Okay, any negative aspect of the relationship. Anything that you may need to watch out from for. And it does not mean from this person. It could be other people that are jealous of you, around you. It can be anything, okay? Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals, okay? So right here. Um, someone you know is undependable and sincere. So at around this point of the relationship when you're really starting to build that foundation i'm hearing an old friend somebody who you spend time with now or is going to want be jealous okay they are going to kind of try to interfere here on the bottom of the deck time to act okay so don't let that person interfere in this relationship now I've never had this happen before, but with these cards I'm hearing, these letters or words may tell you who this person is that may come in, okay? You may have a Sagittarius, okay? A Leo, or I'm sorry, a, a Leo sign coming in here. I said Sagittarius and I'm not taking that back. So it could be a Leo or a Sagittarius or another fire sign. Somebody who wears country boots or boots of any type, okay? Um, they may work with birds. These letters may spell their name somehow. Or what your connection is to that person, okay? So this is all meant to give you more information about who this person is that may try to get involved in your relationship, okay? Friendship romance, whatever the relationship is. All right. Let's do the positive aspects. What what blessings can you look for with this relationship? Or around this relationship. So like you could have a friend who wants to celebrate your newfound friend, okay? Okay. 
All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right. So we have... First one out was dog, close up, pleasure with a close friend. Did I not say that? And I'm getting here. This is your new person. This is the new person coming in. So there is going to be a close friendship, okay? This is going to deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Definitely this person is going to bring in. Look at this, the sun card, the sun card, happiness and well-being. So this person coming into your life, whether it's romantic or friend only, is going to really, really be unconditional love. Okay, and you will be successfully overcoming a problem is on the bottom of the deck. All right, let's see if we can get some more physical characteristics A younger man, okay. Now, I'm focusing on characteristics of your new person coming in, okay. A dark man, a younger man. So this person could be dark skin, hair, dark eyes. Now, I'm hearing, too, that this, if you are a man and you're not looking for a man, that this is somebody who, again, has that strength of character that comes across more masculine than feminine. Even though they're quiet and demure, they still command attention the way a male does, okay? So, this person may be younger than you. Or you may be younger than them. And when we say younger, we're talking usually a, a five-year or more age difference. Doesn't have to be for everyone out there, okay? But it definitely is somebody who has a stature of very masculine energy. All right, I hope that makes sense. Now, let's see. Sorry about the squeaky chair. Let's see what we've got next. Let's go ahead and do the Gilded Reverie and see what Spirit wants to tell you. Oh, building bridges. Building bridges. 11. Coming into alignment right over the Vortex card. That is pretty darn amazing. That is amazing. You're building bridges with this person to a place that is magical, mystical, but it's also bringing, you're in the vortex here and you're bringing that person to you. You're drawing them to you because you are in alignment. Spirit is verifying that for you. Wants you to understand that, that you deserve this. You've worked for this. This is law of attraction that I'm talking about here in case you're new and you've not heard um, about this type of situation here, uh, the vortex and bringing in um, what you want, manifesting the type of person you want, the type of relationship that you want. All right. Oh, we have a couple of cards here. Oh, I'm holding the deck upside down. Okay. So we have 44, 4, and 4. You're stable, reliable, dependable. Okay. You pay attention to the minute things in life. You don't, your intuition is there and you trust it, okay? So like you don't have to focus a magnifying glass on something to know that you can trust it or not trust it. Your intuition is already connected, okay? Loyalty, unconditional love from this person. This is beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, let's see what the Kipper deck what Spirit wants to say using the Kipper deck here. What have we got? All right. Judication. I'm hearing that this could be where you meet your person. Um, again, bringing things together or settling things. So like, counselor keeps coming through. Making a judgment call is coming through. Okay, so there may be someone outside yourself. This person may be a judge. That fits with that energy that I was feeling there. Or somebody who makes the final decisions. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, they could absolutely work within the court um, court system. They could be an official person somehow within a company, within the community, somebody who makes a final decision, a final ruling, okay? Oh my gosh, look what's on the bottom of the deck. An official person. I just said that, all right? Oh my goodness, and that's 22. That's two people coming together. The next step would be the four, 44. Oh my gosh, I'm getting chills again. Okay, so um, your person may be in the military, maybe in the service, civil service of some sort, but they make some sort of official um, decrees, final decisions, final judgments. All right. Anything else here from the Kipper Spirit? Okay, thank you. Sudden wealth. Wow. Wow. 11. Look at that. I want to point this out. Um, we have 11. Two ones is 11. Okay, 11. We have the four ones, which is 11, 11. Then we have the 11 here. We also have the 22, which is two 11s. I mean, incredible. Okay. Lining up, being in alignment, bringing things together. And that's right over the whole being in the vortex. Love this reading. I love this reading. I want that wheel showing. But I wanted the nine of cups too. Oh, well. Actually, I'm going to put this here. All right. Let's see what we have in the Island Time Wellness. What Spirit would like to share with you about this relationship. Anything else? No. Thank you. That was like 10 cards. Sorry. The first one out is seduction. Ooh, there's definitely an attraction here. Okay, there may be flirting, dating, uh, hooking up, temptation, third-party interference. I don't feel those other things. I feel the attraction, flirting, and the dating. Okay, so that's really good energy. That's really good. There's, there's definitely an attraction immediately, friendship or more. Heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open heart, getting together, and it feels perfect, okay? All right, anything, ooh. Okay, so we have a key here, and then we have keys on a ring. Many options, some de decisions, okay? Okay, and then we have the palm tree, stability, security, growth, endurance, flexibility that those are all things that I said earlier every one of those words I've used in this general area here okay beautiful beautiful message all right let's see <clears throat> what the should we do the romance angels first or the angel answers let's do the romance angels first let me shuffle them up get them woke up Yeah, we'll see what, oh, 44.04 on the clock. 44 minutes so far? Wow, this is a long reading. Sorry, guys. I hope you like it, though. I mean, the message is the message. All right, let's see ooh, what the romance angels have to say about this relationship. 44.04, that's crazy, okay? Release your ex. Okay, and that was the card that flew way over there. Okay, and there is engagement here, as in you're engaging with this person in a beautiful manner. Um, you could be, a, there could be a commitment at this point. Okay, so again, careful with that um, person that may try to come in and try to disrupt your your time with your new person because they want your attention. If you understand that, you can fix it before it becomes an issue. 
All right, anything else for the Romance Angels spirit? Thank you. Pay attention to the red flags. Again, like I said, there's there's something. Oh, that, oh, thank you. That's the red flags. That's the red flag. Watch out for the friend, okay? And if you do see any red flags with this person, pay attention to them and bring them up. Talk about it. Don't hide them. Um, because there aren't any showing right now, okay? Other than the fact that they're not going to change who they are, which I personally depends on how they are. If they're a nice person and they're good, then leave them be. If they need changing, you can't change them. You need to, you need to go away. All right, getting to know each other, okay? So this is good. This is good. All right, let's go ahead and get you a spirit animal. Oh, yeah, no. Sorry, we want to get you some angel answers here. So if you don't have questions formed yet and you would like to ask the angels, go ahead and pause this video and start it back up when you are ready. Otherwise, I'm going to give this a quick shuffle and go right into this. If a message comes through for, you know, for me to convey to you, I will definitely do so. If not, I will let you know that it is up to you. All right. Two more shuffles. And there's our message. Okay. The first one is unlikely. The second one is if you believe. And the third one is compromise. On the bottom of the deck, it does say choose a new direction. Okay. I have no messages about any of this. Something in here you're going to have to decide, okay, what you're going to walk away from, what you're going to keep. That's your compromise right there. You'll know it when you're faced with it. So please do not stress it because you will know it when you are faced with it. I am going to give you this spirit animal, okay, oracle messages. These are real quick. They're right on the card. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. The bee comes out so many times in different readings. We have the dog and we have the cat. Cat, independent. You are a natural healer. Oh, right there may be your answer. Your intuition is strong. Again, you don't have to go with a crowd. You're not likely to, neither one of you. Life supports you in every way. I am absolutely hearing that, okay? Seeing that all over this reading. B, community. You are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything that you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen or king of abundance. I love that message for you guys. On the bottom of this deck is the deer. Love. Be gentle with yourself. You heal with the power of love. See the light in all things and acknowledge your self-worth and grace. And that ties back to this, that energy at the very beginning where you're releasing and letting it go and forgiving yourself and everyone else and just cleaning the slate. I love this message for you guys. It's beautiful. Let's go ahead and see what letters come up here. Harry, Henry, Hannah, Bobby, and Vance. I heard invincible. <clears throat> Michael, Mary, Medi, Maddie, Cadence. It's in the bag. Howard. Final hour. I'm hearing a French word. Voulez-vous? Voulez-vous? I took French and I don't even remember that what that means. Voulez-vous? I don't know. It's been too long and I haven't used French at all. All right. Inca? I, I don't even know why Inca. Okay. Another B. Um, get back. I bade you, I 
I bade you to do something. I, I like I asked you to do something, but in a very I'm seeing someone on a stage. I I know it's I bid you I do, but I keep hearing the word I bade. I B A D E, okay? And Jack came out and I'm seeing Jack in the beanstalk. Um theatrical performances here. Maybe one or both of you really enjoy the theater. I'm hearing something about the alphabet or abacus. But there's something about in order, doing the a alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There's something there with that alphabet. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Z, Zorro, Saint, Stu, like a person's name, Stu. Somebody yens for you. I yen for you. Jill, Nouveau, what? Ted Nugent. Okay. <laughs> now we have a D. Don't know why I turned the dice like that, but I'm going with it because that's what it told me to do. Um, Dance, Fancy, Fabulous, Faye. Freddie, Bonnie, Craig, C R A I G, Craig, um, Cambridge. Maybe that's where you went to school, where your person went to school or is from. Wexus, Wex, Wessex. That, that's more a visual. I'm hearing I'm hearing it, but it doesn't sound quite the way I'm saying it. It's got a much more a thicker accent to it. And view, V-U-E, whatever that means. All right, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, channel fans, I love you all to pieces. Thank you for being here. Until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.